Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, I'm going to be profiling for you my Fluffle deck, or my Fright for deck, whatever you want to call it. Uh, really fun deck that Sora uses in Arc V that I have thoroughly enjoyed playing over the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm happy the Emergency Banlist didn't touch anything I was working with, so I can profile it for you guys for this week. Um, but yes, it's a very fun deck to play, and I've had a lot of fun playing it, actually. Um, it's a deck that I'm still playtesting, though, some cards here and there and ratios of things, but overall it does work. It does function fairly well, so let's get into the deck, guys. So first off, I run the three fight, uh, Fluffer Dog. By the way, nickname, I just keep saying Fluffer Dog instead of Fluffer. I mean, I keep saying Fluffer. I, I've been trying to stop saying it, like, the entire time I've been doing deck pro this deck profile. I... Did a, I first I did one deck profile profile of this. I, I, I noticed I kept saying Fluffer. And I was like, whatever, that'll be the nickname for the deck. Fluffer. So the nickname for this deck is Fluffer. That's the way I'm gonna call it. So you can dislike it, you can hate it, whatever. That's just I don't know why. <laughs> but that's why I keep saying it. So we run three uh, dog. Dog is very good in the deck. You can use it in combination with sheep. So one of the things you can do is you can go normal summon dog, search the sheep. Special summon the sheep, bounce the dog back to your hand so you can use it because he's pretty much like Stratos. So you can bounce him back to your hand so next turn you can normal summon him to get more searches off. So that's one of the plays you can do. Or if you already have dog out in the field, just sit and you can just special summon the sheep and just go off. So you can go dog, search if you already have sheep and dog in hand. But there's a whole bunch of cool little plays you can do with those two guys. Um, so three dog, it's Stratos for the deck pretty much. Stratos dog. It's Stratos' dog. <laughs> Uh, next we run three uh, Fluffer Mice. Um, he looks so freaking cute with the donut. Oh my gosh, so cute. So cute and evil. Um, this card, you don't want to draw multiples in your hand. You do run Twin Twister in the deck, so you can pitch it if it's really a problem. But uh, you really just want to draw one of it in your opening hand. Uh, that way you can get its playoff, so you can special summon the other two from the deck. But... Also, I've done it before. I've drawn two, Twin Twister, the back row, normal some one, and then got the other one out of the deck. So there are different plays you can do, but it can help with some very strong plays and power plays. Up next, I run three Fluffer Wing, or fluff, Fluffy Wings, as I call it. Um, I know I have weird names for cards in this deck, Fluffy Wings. Hate me. <laughs> so Fluffy Wings, or Fluffer Wings, uh, pretty much helps and works with combos with Toy Vendor and... Uh, Fluffer, uh, a bear. So pretty much this works with Toy Vendor. Uh, there's some cool combo plays I'm not going to discuss right now, but you, there's some really cool plays you can do with this and Toy Vendor in the deck. Next, I run two sheep. Like I showed you earlier, this works well with dog. I used to run three back before we had the wings come out last year, but uh, definitely just two sheep now. Three gets a little bit too cloggy, but it works very well with dog. Next, we have two of the bear. Bear helps you search out toy vendors, so you can use toy vendors' effect uh, to get benefits off um, wings. Uh, wings over here, so you pretty much you can use the bear, pitch it to the graveyard, search out the toy vendor, which I'll show you what toy vendor looks like. Search out the toy vendor, use wings' as effect. There's a whole bunch of cool things you can do there. So yeah, that's how that works there. Uh, some people run three bear, three toy vendor, three wings. Uh, some people I've even seen use only play two wings instead of three wings because they feel it gets cloggy. That's up to you as a player to decide if you want to go down that route. Uh, bear as a three up, I feel is a little bit too much. Um, I don't really go for the fusion that much. He's just there to search toy vendor for plays. So the power play of the deck, I guess you could say. So yeah. Next, I won one owl and one cat. Um, I love cats, by the way, guys, if you, didn't want, if you want to know something about Seto Kaiba, I love cats. But beside the point, Fluffer Cat, or Fluffy Cat, or Cat in general, uh, pretty much can help reuse your polymerizations in your deck. Or from your when they're in your graveyard, you can bring them back into your hand to go for more uh, fusion plays. Because the one thing about this deck is some people run three polymerizations, some people run two. And after... It, Play testing this deck, you know, for the last couple of weeks, and play. I actually played this deck back in the day when it originally came out, uh, back when it first debuted, and I was using things like Tour Guide and Summoner Monk for plays. That was a long time ago, by the way. But the thing is, I only find myself needing two polymerizations. So this is another way that if I go for a fusion, use it as a fusion material, I can just regain a polymerization back to my hand and go for more fusions. So I keep pushing out fusion monsters on the field for OTK potentials and just 
board, you know, going for game. So I like it for going, uh, grabbing it instead of running rabbit. But you can run rabbit or cat. It's up to you. Rabbit grabs a monster, I believe it is. Cat grabs the poly. Uh, I won the one owl. Some people don't run owl anymore, but I do like it because it's another way of searching poly, and it's a pretty much a pseudo polymerization as well. So I do like the one owl in the deck still. So that's up to you to decide if you want to run owl or something else. Next, I run my three agent chains in the deck. I put those right there, and my two edgem sabers. S uh, some people run just one sabers, some people run two sabers, it's up to the player to decide. Chain can help search itself, but these are pretty much your main cards that you help go for your fl um, your fight first, um, because you have to use edgem monsters with uh, fluff the bear, you know, the cats and bears and dogs and everything, stuffed animals, <laughs> to go for your big fusion plays. Uh, but the thing is, I'll mention some people only use one of this. I have used its effect to stack a monster on the deck and they get Toy Vendor's effect to special summon that monster because... It, so pretty much what you can do sometimes is you can bring this back from the graveyard, okay? Set up uh, one, like a bear, an owl, a cat, whatever you have in your hand that's kind of dead. On top of your deck, you activate Toy Vendor's effect, you um, you reveal it, so any that adds up. It's a fluffer monster. You special summon it, and then you can go for fusion plays. So, yeah, I do like it as a two-up. I have done that play, yeah, pretty often, I would say that. Not not a lot, but often. Uh, that's It's um, something that you do in the deck commonly. And the three chain definitely just helps out overall. Next, I run three King of the Swamp in the deck. I've had these guys forever. Uh, used to use these back with... Back in the day for different blue eyes decks and everything uh, And dark magician as well when I think about it, but definitely a good card helps search your polymerization and is a sub a fusion substitution Great card you can pitch it to the graveyard to search poly you can use it as a substitution in hand great card uh, Especially in this deck because polymerization is relevant and then I run two polymerizations I'm really happy. I picked up my super polymerizations and I have two of them now. They look so nice but beside that fact this card, you can run as a three of in the deck. I know some people that do do that. Personally, I like running just two. I have I run three fusion reserves. I have the owl. I have the king of the swamps to search it out of my deck. I have so many things I can use to search it out of the deck and so many ways to recycle it from the graveyard. It, it's perfectly fine as a two of in the deck. Three gets a little bit cloggy, so I like two polymerization. And I'm so happy they made this card relevant after so many years, by the way. <laughs> Um, after almost a decade, a decade plus, they made Polymerization actually a decent card in the archetype. Next, we run three Fight for uh, Fusion. This is pretty much like Miracle Fusion for the deck. Um, some people run just two of it. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I have thought and I have play tested, and I'm still play testing. Maybe dropping one of these for uh, you know a Fight for Factory. Um, I haven't played around with Fight for Mots, uh, the one that's pretty much Stitcher Rebirth, I think it is, it's like a monster reborn for the deck. Um, but Fight for Factory I do like, but I may drop one of these for Fight for Factory, but I do like this card for 3 of because it helps precipitate OTKs and just pushing a lot of life point damage down your opponent's throat. So, definitely like 3 of those. Next I run the 3 Toy Vendor, I've talked about this card a lot because this has pretty much been one of the main power plays of the deck, Toy Vendor with Fluffer Wings. With wings, excuse me, so yeah, definitely three toy vendor in the deck. You can pitch it even with twin twister if you really want to, if it's not doing anything in your hand, just to get a search off. So yeah, that comes in handy. Uh, two twin twister, this helps pave your way for OTKs in the deck, pretty much. Uh, you pitch a card, you can get benefits off that card being in the graveyard. You can, believe me, I've done that before. Uh, I've even done it before so I could reuse a fusion reserve. So, um, but yes, two twin twister helps pave the way in the deck for OTKs. And just not getting your monsters just destroyed. Then one Regeki, because this is an OTK-centric deck, kind of, and this can clear the board off, push a lot of life point damage down your opponent's throat. It's non-targeting. And it comes in handy sometimes. Next, we run our three fusion reserves. Uh, some people like running two fusion reserves, and that's usually... The people I usually see run two fusion reserves usually run three polymerization. If you're going to run two polymerization, I would suggest running three fusion reserves. And fusion reserves is a very good card in the deck. It helps we uh, we use stuff. So pretty much, 
Um, Fusion Reserve, pretty much you reveal a monster from your extra deck. Um, I'll read it to you guys what the effect says before I go on. Reveal one Fusion monster in your extra deck, add it from... Add one of the fusion materials listed on that card from your deck to your hand, then add one polymerization from your graveyard to your hand. So you can pretty much set up for other polymerization plays, OTK potentials, and recoup the polymerization from your hand while searching through your deck. Very good. Then I run two Solemn Strike and one Solemn Warning. I run the Solemn Brigade in this deck. Helps protect things helps things not go off. So if you didn't kill your opponent that turn, you can kill them next turn because you've stopped their power play. That's why I run that. And people don't respect the back row of this deck, so when they, you, they see a warning or a notice, it puts them on notice. I know it's called Strike, but I'm calling what it was in the OCG. It puts them on notice. <laughs> Bad puns, I know. You can slap me through the camera. Um, next, I run our 3 Fright for a Tiger. Great card. Very good card in this deck. Um, a very, I, I would say this card's very probably the best fusion of the deck. Um, you, you sometimes go through two to three a duel. I will admit that. And I'm so happy you got the reprint and the people in the UK can use it because this card was getting kind of expensive there until they reprinted it last year. So, three tiger, two saber tooth. Uh, you can run one with two saber tooth. I've thought about dropping it down to one of, but at the end of the day, I decided to run two of it. Then two uh, Fluffer Sheep, or Fright for a Sheep, excuse me. This card, <laughs> this card is so gimmicky and can hurt, just kill, it can help you against Cosmos. Um, just run over things. It's, it's, I love this card. I love this little Baba Sheep. Um, really good card there. Then we run two Fright for a Wolf. Uh, Wolf just helps with OTKs in this deck, straight up. Um, very good card in the deck. By how many materials you use, you can attack that many times. I think it is worth is it a uh, make sure of something here <coughs> and it can't be supposed to, uh, this card can attack any number of times each battle phase up to the number of fusion materials yeah it was fusion materials I, I, for a moment I had a brain fart I was thinking it was just um, so it, it, just the fluffer monsters fluffer monsters my gosh I need fluffers fluffers um, but next we got one Leo and one bear um, Leo is like Volcasaurus for the deck and can win you games. Bear is okay. I do go for him. He's not the best, but you do go for him once in a blue moon. So I do run him in the deck for that reason. And you have two of them in the deck, so might as well. Uh, then I run one Photon Strike Bouncer, one Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon, one 101, and one Castell the Sky Musketeer. Uh, Photon Strike Bouncer, if you didn't kill him that turn, you can overlay for him and it can help protect you. Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon can just be an OTK card in itself. 101 can help you get around problematic things, and Castell can help you get around problematic things on the field. So that's why I run those rank fours in the deck, just because they come in handy sometimes. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this deck profile, guys. I had a lot of fun profiling it for you. Um, I've been trying to work on cutting down the time I do on my videos, uh, so let me know how I'm doing on that. But... Uh, I do hope you guys enjoy this deck. It's a very fun deck to play. I thoroughly enjoy playing it. Um, it's a good deck. I think with the emergency ban list taking effect, uh, you know, now and whatnot, that this card will be a good deck to pick up and maybe try out in the new format. So just try it out, guys. And until next time, take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling, and I'll see you guys next time. And go Sora from Arc V. Take care, everybody.